Well, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord Jesus, we thank you for today in the air in our lungs, and we, we praise your name, Lord, and we say hallelujah. This is Minister Paul, a watchman on the wall, and I'm in Northern California. Um, date and time's going up on your screen. It's an interesting date. It's 726 21 it's really interesting because I had been watching 72521 yesterday, which, and I was getting all kinds of uh, warnings and taking all kinds of notes and preparing all types of links for a message and stuff yesterday. And, uh, and the Lord told me, he said, no, I want you to make this on the 26th. He, he <laughs> I know it's, I, I can't explain some of the things I can't explain to you in a way that would make sense, but I just knew, it, 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 I'll just tell you, it was, it was almost as if God was saying, no, don't, don't release this today. It's a message to go out on the, uh, on the 26th for a reason, and then began to show me all these things and say, okay, I'll wait on it. And so here it is the next day on the 26th, and we're going to go back to my notes, and I'm going to show you a few things. Man, this is fascinating. So, and I also want to play a little music. I'm kind of feeling reminiscent today. I'm not sure, uh, I'm not sure where this message is going to end up, and I have a feeling this message is going to run for a little while, you know, at least 30, 40 minutes, probably at a minimum from the topics I want to show, maybe even longer than that. One thing I do know that you'll be able to find this on Patreon. On the Patreon uh, is where everything goes first and foremost, and not everything that goes out to social media channels, uh, not everything on Patreon makes its way to those channels. Anyway, I see I have a private message, so I don't want to show too much, but it's patreon.com forward slash minister Paul Maxson. And there's a lot of posts over here. Um, but yeah, we'll just keep that private because I, I see I have two private notifications in here. So we'll get off that page and we'll get back. I can close this. I never did finish this part. Okay, we got a lot to cover. Yeah. This is an hour video, probably. We'll see what God does. I'm going to play this music and we'll worship a little bit while I uh, show some stuff on the screen. So, if you're, you're tuning in right now, um, there's things that you need to see on the screen. I'm going to place my notes in there and stuff. And I found this video I called Amazing Grace back when I was still on Facebook. It's actually uh, a group that was local here and someone had handed me one of their mixtapes and it was it's called Amazing Grace and I'm like man I really liked that. Uh, at the time I really liked the the groove and vibe of it. It felt anointed so I made it into a video on April 24th 14. So 4-24-14 I made it a video Thank you, Jesus. One of these days I will learn how to edit or not, LOL. Here's the people who commented, Sister Ruthie. Um, hold on, I would just, to only five comments. I would totally, uh, Brother Ron, miss you, I haven't seen Brother Ron. Um, everybody just, it sounds like Zap. And it does kind of sound like Zap. And I did like Zap growing up when I was younger. And still stuck in the world so I'm gonna play this song and it has images of me seeing 11 11 and 3 7 and 7 3 just like everywhere going all the way back to 2014 the number 3 and the number 7 and it was associated with 11 11 and I, I don't know why I just kind of want to hear this song so I'll, I'll hit mute because I'm gonna let me do this first. I'm going to pop my notes up here. 
So this was July. Yeah, I'll hold off on the song. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Um, I'm going to hold off on the song. 7-24 was Saturday. So being that today's Monday, starting a brand new week, the 24, uh, today being the 26th, the 24th was Saturday. And it was spiritually revealed to me. Now, let me be very clear. I haven't received the total, full, final revelation or, or even what to title this message I'm going to give. And so I can't come on here and say, hey, here, here, I'm going to tell you this is going to happen in the future. It's a prophecy God told me, so it's thus says the Lord. And then, uh, and, and then give the prophecy and then see it fulfill down the road. That's normally what I would do. But with this one, uh, it, it's a revelation. It, it, it's, it, it's a sudden knowledge of a future event that's unfolding in real time that God told me to begin on 7-26-21. And so I began taking notes for it a couple of days ago. And, and some of this stuff I haven't even reviewed yet. We're going to review it right here together. You with me? Uh, God bless all the Rumble fans out there too, amen. Rumble, YouTube, I'm not sure if this will make the cut. But God bless everybody that hears this. Father God, we pray in the name of Jesus that you and only you would be the revealer of the knowledge we seek. Lord God, I know, I know, I know that I'm called to make a major warning, Lord, and my soul will not be fully at peace until I release this warning. You've showed me this through the series of years, but nevertheless, let me decrease and you increase, Lord. Let only you reveal what you're about to reveal. Let this message come from you, be from you, and be of you, Father God, in the mighty and majestic name of Jesus, and seal this with Holy Spirit fire. In the blood of Jesus, seal it with the stamp of yes. Shut it, shut out of a course. Yeshua, seal it with the stamp of Yeshua in Jesus' name, that it will go out and go forward. This word in Jesus' name, as led MP Yeshua. I felt his presence strong. Seven twenty-four. What time is it? 10.57 a.m. It's early out here. Wow, there's a lot of day to go and a lot of things to be said. <clears throat> it, it was back some time ago, and I can't tell you exactly when, that I heard Rise, Spirit of Ophir, Rise, and I got this big, long message, and it turned out to be this huge thing where, where people were very aware of what Ophir was. Some, some claimed to know... Uh, exactly where it is and what it is and and it just began this whole thing the spirit of Ophir thing became part of what's called the 21 delta prophecy and that prophecy is on rumble rumble.com forward slash minister paul just like this if, if i don't want to beat a dead horse but this delta already fulfilled that's not what I read. The 21 Delta Prophecy. This is what led into it. Was the spirit of Ophir rise. Because I'm telling you, I was shown what it was. Um, what I wanted to do, though, is for those... There, there are people that only read the closed captions and cannot hear. And so I enable closed captions... on the tube so for those people it would be like this just like that rumble.com forward slash minister paul i have i think about 50 videos over there maybe 50 i don't know i'm guessing and uh it's some that doesn't make the tube if you know what i'm saying so there's that so 724, I was told that this spirit of Ophir is the spirit of the Antichrist and that it's transmissible. They can transmit it. Let me say this again. The New World Order 
has been given away to transmit Satan's agenda using the Antichrist spirit and fallen angel technology. And they're going to use all those obelisks I've shown for those of fall minister Paul watched without the wall for a while. You know, I was showed all these obelisks everywhere. They're in New York and London and Utah and Washington. And they're just everywhere, these obelisks. And, and, and then the 21 Delta was a pyramid shape, a pyramid shape. So this is going to continue. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The 21 Delta, the 21 Delta prophecy continues. It's not over. This is turning into the spirit of Ophir equals AC. They're trans, they're, it's going to rise by, by, by them transmitting the spirit around the world using fallen angel technology and a blanket of deception on your mind using mind control and the mark of the beast man and they're going to own your soul there'll be nowhere to run when someone owns your soul and you lose all rights to it <sighs> so i was told to go search uh the number 666 in scriptures and I think when I used the Greek translation, three came up. And I'm going to show you those. So I came over here. And we're, we're going Bible Gateway. We're searching scriptures here just for the number 666, the number of the beast. So it has one here. So then what you do is you come over here and change it to the Greek, the, the original amplified, the oldest one you can find. <clears throat> also another good one is 1959 or Geneva. It'd be right in here somewhere if your eyes see it. It's the Geneva right here. 1599 Geneva Bible. Let's, that's going way back. Let's see how many it lists. Just one. Okay, so we're going to put this to amplified original. There's three. Look, look. it says two Bible results. But when you put it in the Greek, it shows three. And so here's the three. I'll start at the bottom. Ezra 2, 1. Uh, one three. You, you understand one three just like Revelation one three. You under. Oh man, I'm just being shown a huge revelation. Okay, so there's three search results in Greek for the number of the beast, and two of them are verse thirteen. Thirteen. Revelation thirteen is where it, what's it's saying that you could have knowledge. You could, that there's knowledge you could know to, to uncover this number, right? And then here's, so look, thir 13, 13, 13, and three of them. Now, now remember, when the word of God was written in the original manuscripts and transcripts, it didn't have names of chapters and numbers. It didn't go like, Open your scroll to Matthew 19 and 24. Or open your Bible to Revelation 13, 18. Man added that later. They, man added names of titles. You know, like, like 1 Corinthians would have just been a letter written to the city of Corinth, to the, a church there in Corinth. An actual letter. It did it, you know, it's not like page one, page two. It's just someone scrawling out on scrolls while under the influence of the Holy Ghost. So here, so, so then you come up here, remember, so there's three, there's three verses and there's three thirteens. And then you come up here and, uh, and it's 13, 18 and three, three, three is what 18. And I'm not getting silly with numbers or anything. But I'm going to tell you, 18 is 666, the number we searched for. So this is the number of the sons of 
Atkin, 666 sons, Ezra 2, 13. Remember, God said we could have wisdom to figure this out in the last days and that knowledge would increase. And I believe we're really close to figuring it out. Solomon's wealth and power. When you think of gold, what do you think of? I'm going to tell you what I started thinking of when the Holy Spirit woke me up to this. I think of, of gold. I think of that spirit of Ophir. When I think of gold, I think of Ophir. California, the golden state, I, the golden corral. I, I could go on and on. Golden arches. But spirit of Ophir, now knowing that that's a spirit of Antichrist that they're going to start transmitting around. And I hear the Holy Spirit saying now, the issue at hand to declare is that they cannot transmit the spirit of the Antichrist while I'm restraining it, for I am in control of all. And therefore sound the alarm that the king is coming. Even so, on his way. Do not let the nations deceive you. For what I am about to do will be crushing and most powerful and holy and righteous to destroy sin from the earth once and for all. I, the Master, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Even so come Lord Jesus. Amen. Spirit of prophecy, heavy man. I would have to I'm gonna have to go back and listen to that again. There's the scriptures. Let's uh let me hit pause for a second. Well, let me check and put the date and time on the screen because I'm back and you'll never know I left. It's 11.14 a.m. here, still on the 26th. I just checked my records to make sure that I could officially go ten, uh, say this and make this bold statement. But it is true, amazingly, and I'm letting you know that the devil is still a liar. So, making that official, the way the, so what we have here is a new prophecy unfolding that I'm to title, the, the spirit of Ophir prophecy fulfilling and revealing, and it's way deep, it's the spirit of Antichrist coming in and being transmitted around the whole world it's going to tie into the end of the 21 delta prophecy and this is going to be one that goes into tribulation because the church must be removed i believe that was prophetic what was prophetically spoke i'm actually going to have to go back that was the i'm telling you that was the direct spirit of prophecy speaking and it shook me And this is serious. And I don't know how harder that I could emphasize that. I don't know what statement I could make or what time or date or proof I could show you to emphasize how serious this is. The church be removed. And to be cast into tribulation. And there's no more grace. People, you gotta make a decision today. Really, what side are you on? Are you all the way in with Jesus and his word? Because if you're not all the way in with Jesus and his word, which requires to obey, it's just too deep of a thought for me to even have as a human being to think of someone whose name isn't written in the Lamb's Book of Life. It's not something that I even want to think on. Imagine Jesus and his high thoughts. 
Well, speaking of the high thoughts of Jesus, I got an emotional there. This is going to tie in. This mark of the beast is going to tie in to the, the snake bite through the worldwide digital ID that will be some type of uh, snake bite ID slash passport or travel thing that everybody will have to have in the whole world and and you think oh this will take years to enroll well maybe about three and a half years I mean but they could it, maybe it's already set up and it's now I mean are you prepared for that I mean food shortages are coming plagues are coming wrath is coming man they're going to cut off your, your food supply and your water supply. They're killing your air supply. It's unfathomable, isn't it, to think of. So, well, next thing they're going to do is take away your money. If you don't get snake bit, you won't be able to get any of the new money, which is a one world currency, and it's going to be digital. It's going to be digital. And it's going to tie into your new ID digitally to digital money. And if you don't have it, I hope you got food and water, shelter, and the basic necessities. Let's continue on. Oh, my amazing grace. I'm going to put my earphone in, and I think now is a good time to maybe look at this and. Just kind of chill for a minute because it's heavy. Looking forward, for those that want to look ahead forward, we need to discuss this and how I got to this. Historical events in 1837. And How did you get this number, 1837? And what events are we going to look at? And which ones will you discuss? And what about this? I'm getting ahead of myself. 725, if you're paying attention. What about this great pyramid-sized asteroid to fly close to Earth? It's a flying delta symbol sent by God, man. On, on the day I'm watching. Where's it at? Well... I'll tell you who not to ask, and that's the NASA. So yeah, we got and we got to go all the way across the top. We got things. This is going to be a very lengthy message, and I'm gonna try to do it in just one video. So I mean, imagine a two-hour video or something like that. So I'm in no hurry, and I praise God for that. I mean, this is my job, and. This is what I do in my life to serve Jesus uh, because of what he did for me. Amen. He changed my life <laughs> from the poorhouse to a preacher, man. All right, what's he done for you, saints? Let me know if there's anywhere to call.
comment on this message, wherever it may end up, only God knows, amen. <laughs> uh, let me know in the comments. What has he done for you? Let's continue through. So this is going to take a bit to go through. So I have to bring up this Google Earth map that I continue to reference. I've been referencing this two or three times now. It's so in general, for those who don't know that are going to watch this prophecy who don't know, here's a real quick update. Watch this map. It's basically lines. And that's what this message is really about is these lines and why I'm drawing them and where they go and stuff, right? So, in 2015-16, uh, blah, 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 the end. I, I wish it could be like that, but there's people who don't know. The, these, are, these lines are journeys I took from California. I started in Fort Bragg, West Coast, California, and I went out to all these states, Arizona, Colorado, Oregon, uh, and what I did, I said judgment's coming, and that I was to pronounce judgment. Texas, North Carolina, Florida was a, a warning part of it. And then I came in, and there was seven states, and I finished it. It took about two years. And then I kept wanting to do it, and the Lord was saying, no, no. So I had set one up for Minnesota, and that's this one right here. And I heard the word, don't go out. Could everybody see that? Minnesota, don't go out. And so uh, we all saw what happened. So I'd planned Minnesota in 2016. Well, did you all see what happened four years later in uh, 2020 in Minnesota? That's the exact city, actually the exact capital I was going to go to. It's uncanny. And then I was going to go to Ohio and uh, for sub reason to get... I was told that would be troubled waters. And so that's this line. So seven I completed. Three I think were kind of like things I wanted to do personally. But God didn't approve. So there was seven I did and completed. Three I thought of but didn't go. But still met uh, people from those areas along the way. You know. And uh, in very personal ways and, and stuff like that. So here's the map. So, thank you, Jesus. So, yet, so, so yesterday, I'm reading. Let me find this thing. Norway, no. I'm looking for a. See, now you'll get some hints. Oh, I don't think it's up here. He, uh, pause one. Okay, I got it. So. I make it this message yesterday, 72521. And for anybody who's known me for any amount of time, it was really odd because the date, if you write it out, is, uh, and you know what, I wonder it's what it's right if, if you wrote it out in the Ukraine because they do things backward. Uh, amen. So, so yesterday, the date, we're still on this part. Right? So yesterday, the date, I'm doing a message on the spirit of Ophir, and I'm actually mapping out the message, and it's tying in with past messages, and I realize what's happening, and so I start documenting, taking notes. And so if you look, it's three, uh, it's seven, seven, three. It's seven, seven, three. This is a sequence. It God shows me. Mine's usually three three seven, and so so if you're over, how do, how do they do it in the UK? So you would reverse the does the year go first? Is it the year? And so ours would be day then month. So theirs is probably month. And day? Did I do that right? I have no idea, to be honest. It's just flowing. Uh, but you know what I'm getting at is their date is different in the UK, which is a, we have brothers and sisters over there. So I've just wondered what theirs looks like and wondered if I did it right. So it would be 337. A sequence. 
so then I'm so then I'm shown this meteor and I'm told to map that meteor area get this on 725 I'm shown that this huge meteor hit so hard it actually caused a shock wave earthquake that people felt the shock wave and it registered as an earthquake this thing came flying down and hit so hard and you hear all these NASAites and they're talking about oh there's nothing nothing falling from the sky that's going to hit us within the next uh, century that we know of that's what I read I'm like really well what was this thing that just flew by and what's the thing that just landed in Texas people want to know what you're hiding it seems like the sky's falling man and it's things that I was told to watch and warn of so get out of my way devil and liars so on 725 which is the sequence of the warning that triggers me as a watchman to sound the alarm you understand it's just it could be any sequence of numbers. It's just God said, hey, look, look. And he's done it for years and years, and people will bear witness of that. So I make that, and I, and I mark that, and then he says this. He says, the next map marker is your next meteor lines. In other words, like there's going to be multiple meteors falling. And so I marked the one, and I'm going to show you this meteor. So I marked that meteor on the same map that I'm adding to the, from the seven states I visited you with me and many other events like Bezos space launch and stuff um, now they're saying he possibly didn't even go to space or who knows I'm not following that junk and we all know Elon Musk is up to something too he's making a move in, back into the digital currency thing I'm watching everything so I'm told that another mark is going to go on the map after this meteor right here and let me show you the meteor and that I'm to mark the next one so let me tell you what happens to make this shorter the next day that's today right here 26 what date 26 26 it, it is uh, I said a meteor monitoring when I got up this morning and sure enough there was a meteor last night and you know where it was Texas and so that ties in the 21 Delta prophecy that ties in the 21 Delta prophecy uh, because Texas was the state where uh, Lambda hit and and in the 21 Delta prophecy it's prophesied that Houston's going to get hit with two types of storms. And they're both man-made and God's going to blow on them. Just to keep people updated on this. And now the Lord said he's so angry. He's What did he say? He's sending strikes. And he showed me areas. And he said X marks the spot. And he said I'm going to show you strike areas. And I want you to line them out. Is everybody still with me? What we had a half hour we're fine. We got a long way to go. So this one strikes, and I'll show you where on the let me let me pull up my map. That's not it. How God did this is way beyond me. That one lands right here. And God told me to land, make that point, to be clear. To make this point. A marker and watch for another one and I woke up and do you know what it happened that same very day after I retired and went to sleep and fell asleep and was just breathing under the grace of God hoping he gives me the next breath you know when you're sleeping he's in control right and it strikes and it strikes Texas and Texas the yellow rose and I was shown to everybody you're not going to fully understand this unless you've been following but you got to go back and watch the whole entire 21 Delta prophecy I know you got a lot of things to watch on your on demand could I be real but you know we need to put God on demand something is being revealed here even look right here look six 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 the topic we're discussing see God knew we're going to be discussing six 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 
uh, digital currency being added to the snake bite and so he knew we'd be talking about 666 and he knew a meteor would strike there because it says God sends a strike he sent it and then now he's showing you 666 now you can see that or you can't see that uh, I, I can't help you with that part so then the next one strikes so you see these lines I should have shown you I should have shown you it's closer in so you can get an idea it's called Lear or Lear I'm not sure exactly on the pronouncing but this just so you know is a very precise marker point and it's L I E R if I understand correctly Or something like that. Lair. No, I think it's more like this. Lear. Or you can just put Oslo. It's right outside the town of Oslo, Norway. And then another one strikes Texas the same day. That I'm told to watch for it and monitor it. Okay, so we don't even really need these notes anymore. Yes, save. Let's go to this. Let's see if there's audio. I'll mute my microphone. So this is uh, Norway, That was pretty crazy, man. I somehow accidentally hit pause, tried to stop the thing, and it's at the 37 minute mark right now. 37.30 right now. Incredible. So that was one point of a mark on the map. You notice how it said home strand? So let's look at that, because that wasn't my source. I just gained that. Home strand, Norway. So let's actually see how close I was. Let me get out a little bit because it's a big area. And I noticed this like type of delta thing. So we want home strand. So Oslo. So I know it's near Oslo. So let's make sure this marker is correct. So it looks like it looks like what God is saying is I need to update this map. To move this well that doesn't really say home strand though I'm gonna keep the marker where I got because that's where God told me to put it but so now you kind of have an idea of the area amen and then to I can't think of the name of the city oh yeah you know what the name of the city is you are not going to believe this it's called the colony it's i thought it'd be real hard to find it, it turns out it's not the second one that hits that i'm watching for see god sent a strike a warning strike and then he confirmed it the warning i'm going to say that again he sent a warning strike that shook the earth in oslo norway area and he sent a warning strike to Texas and somehow in some way Israel's involved of this as the Rose of Jerusalem because the Texas Rose and the 21 Delta the Lambda variant was to start in Texas and it did at the exact same hospital that made the snake bite mandatory and it was like 153 people 
and 153 fish and all that. That same building got the L-A-M-B-D-A. And so here's the second meteor strike area. The Colony, Texas. Boom. And I was told to name it The Colony. Look again. A delta type uh, water environment. So we'll pan out the map. There is uh, Babylon. <laughs> I mean, and these lines. And so that's the map. And as I receive more, I'll keep you updated on that. Let's look at the Texas one. I know it's doing something weird right now. See, like this one won't go away. Maybe if I refresh it, because I can, yeah, here we go. Okay, so you see how they make it difficult to, there we go. So we got it full screen somehow through a miracle of Jehovah, right? <laughs> I mean, because it's not even letting me pause it. Did you see it? I should type in the comments. No, man, you don't give people time to see it. and There's no pause. Uh, so maybe spacebar will work. Let me see. This is Texas. 150 reports of fireball. Yeah, you mind playing there, or a guy? See, it's, I know what this is doing. It's wanting me to pause the video I'm making. Yeah, but I'm hip to that type of stuff. So where's the play? I mean, are you seriously, where's the play? Here it is. Right, July 25th. Some North Texans reported a bright flash of light. Repeats. Others thought they heard a sonic boom. Still no official confirmation about what it was, but most have agreed it was probably a meteor. We had lots of videos sent in from viewers. Thank you as always for that, and check out this map from NASA showing where people reported oh. seeing the fireball. Tons of reports in North Texas, then down as far south as Houston, up north into Arkansas and east into Louisiana. Jeff Petrulis for CBSN DFW. Oh my gosh, and you know what that area code is down there? That's the, you know what that was? The closest, now a lot of things to talk about. You know what that was? That was the area where the hurricane's going to hit. And you know what, in Louisiana, and that area is part of the 21 Delta Prophecy, the area code for that area all the way down the bottom of like they're talking about Louisiana up into Arkansas and stuff. That's 337 area code. That's part of the 21 Delta Prophecy. And what were we talking about? That sequence of events of 337. And what is like when I see that, I know there's a warning to come. Well, I warned of a meteor and was told to watch another. And it happened the same day. And now I'm told to warn and don't make this till the 26th. Well, now it's the 26th. So I started... I noticed th this is where things kind of get weird and I want to tread carefully, okay? Sip on my tea. Because I don't know what ley lines are. But this is going to get kind of weird. So stay prayed up. I, I Like I said... Maybe we'll do the ley lines last and I'll bring in a couple other things because I, I don't fully know what they are. And I'm still learning that part, but I guess I'm led to mention them. Let me mention these three other stories first and we'll check what's breaking. Let me just cover this part. The ley lines apparently tie in, look what, the pyramids of Giza. The, so the exact, so... I'm, I'm like I'm mapping lines and there's this some type of cult they said or something I'm learning about the guy that invented it right here uh, lines of sight 
So this is in study Alfred Watkins. He was a photographer and topographer, topography, that's interesting, I wonder what it means, in the early 20th century Britain. Now remember I heard the word Britain? See, only people that have followed the 21 Delta Prophecy or followed this ministry for years are going to be able to say, yes, Minister Paul, you've been warning about Britain for years and didn't know why. Well, now I'm telling you I know why. Ley lines. And I don't even fully know what ley lines are, but I know God has me drawing red lines. And I was told in the previous message on this, the second map update that he said lines were being drawn, lines were being crossed in reference to this. And he sent a strike and he sent another one and he sent it right where the 21 Delta prophecy ends. And this one begins where Lambda hit, where it was first reported. Here at a hospital I was reporting on, because 153 people were gonna get fired for refusing the snake bite. Well, since then, this snake bite thing is going M-A-N-D-A-T. I mean, this map is topography. Topography. This map is uh, just, uh, I don't know how to explain what the levels of things gods can do. The arrangement of the natural and artificial features of an area. A detailed description of, or representation on a map of the natural and artificial features of an area. So what they would do is they would map like historic point A to historic point B and map it out. And it's the only way to describe what God has me doing on this map. And all I can tell you is, I can prove to you, right down to Bezos' launch, every single one of these areas are of great significance. And I've been there, and I've water baptized people there, and I've laid hands on them for their healing, and I've prayed for their family. And uh, like this area, I know an earthquake's coming up here, Northern California, Southern Oregon area. And this whole area is going to be affected because of steam through geysers. I mean, it, I mean, look at right here. This is added DEFCON 2, the Lord said. DEFCON 2. Be curious to know what that area is, right? So a lot to this. And so that's what I'm doing. So we don't need this anymore. So this is kind of the guy, Alfred Watkins. But I mean, this was in Britain. I, I know a whole cult. See, here's where it gets sketches. It sounds like a whole cult started doing this and then and then added it in to supernatural and then they had paranormal, supernatural, and these lines drawings which kind of led them to believe in aliens and UFOs and then they started drawing like the 37th parallel. They say it's the greatest activity of uh, of UFO uh, discoveries and sightings ever it happens along the 37th parallel, which runs right across the map of the United States, which also was the map used for American Eclipse Day. And also, uh, we had something else that map was used for too. It's heavy, so that's that, dude. And then the, the pyramids, did I show you guys the pyramids? I didn't tie in, thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's go to Egypt. Because the pyramid is the Delta symbol. Let me show you what I mean when they're gonna transmit, uh, I'm not sure if I showed this or not, transmit the AC spirit all around the world, how? Let me show you how. I did show you that now. You see how it just flipped and changed? I did show you these pyramids. Let me show them again for those who may be as short memoried as I am. I mean, you can actually go down and see these things. And these things somehow, some way, spiritually associate. This is stuff not everybody needs to know.
and I'll leave that at that. You don't need to know this to be saved or go to heaven or anything, but I'm telling you, some of us are plotting out and exposing the plans of the enemy because we're called to. You don't have to do that unless you're called to. They can tie these in to these obelisks. Obelisk. And they communicate. And they've done work with them underground. They're secret communication centers to, to filter around the AC spirit when they, they set the top leader of the whole world like he's God at the very top of their little pyramid the, 20, the Delta pyramid and uh, they seek to rule this world and so when I looked up ley lines the first thing it brings up is these pyramids and so like I'm like I mean seriously I, I just have no words and and this stuff they drew in them. See, stuff they don't want you to know ancient aliens in, inside these things. But here's the thing. They're not aliens, man. They're fallen angels. The Bible recorded their history perfectly and accurately. There's nowhere else to need to look. It's in the Bible, these fallen angels mingled with women and had demon children with altered DNA and God flooded the world. That was the world being baptized of its sin, purged, because eight survived. That represents the new birth, the new beginning of the new world. And the devil's taken it over and he wants it to be his world. And so the plan's going to fall out and Jesus is going to crush everybody and put all in place. And those who were following Jesus and were obedient to him and were born again uh, are going to be with him forever. There, there's no, there's no other aliens, you know, just flying around in spaceships and stuff. Fallen angel technology, man, and it's going to come. They're hiding it in these locations, and God is exposing these locations. Next story, and this is big. Jordan has been attacked. Remember? Remember when I received the word Jordan in 2014 and I was to watch for a new story out of Jordan and then I showed you it did came out and I showed you King Abdullah of Jordan was heading to go talk to O'Lyden, which is really Obama and he'd do it in the in the WH right there in DC and well now that's been done and now here's their spin and they're going to do whatever that agreement they made to they have to enact because I'm sure at some point money's involved right and it's probably being transferred around digitally does somebody understand what i mean what's going on here and this money it needs to make it into the new world order bank for those who are snake bitten my gosh and so suddenly the focus is is to discredit dishonor attack make us refusing those the enemy and make us look like we're the danger Really, we're walking around as the truth and light, and, and we're seeing grace. Hallelujah. I mean, that's a dark, dark darkness that has fallen upon this land when the deception is so bad that the ones that are resisting government control at all costs and serving God and insisting on serving God and believing in Jesus Christ through faith have become the enemy. And the thing is, the world believes it. And they'll take more juice and more juice and just get, you know, once bitten, twice shy. They'll get bit again. And it's going to tie in digital currency. So Jordan has been attacked by Iranian-made drones. So clearly it's looking like someone wants war with Iran. And so, you know who that's usually going to involve? Israel. Which involves the U.S. So, in the same breath, Putin has threatened, just keeping you updated, Putin has threatened that he has an advanced 
no notice, you'll get no notice total destruction device that he can just send and there's no stopping it. Once, In other words, it's all set and ready. Once he hits the button, there's no stopping it. It's just destruction. Okay, we have a federal agency coming aboard to make the snake bite. Uh, a qualification. Doctors, nurses, medical groups call for snake bites for all. To blah, blah, blah. EU states requires passes to enter bars and restaurants. I heard that here today. And here we come to this story. You're not going to. And see here, if I continue down this road, it'll never make it to YouTube. I think I'm going to stop and I'm going to add in a part two. Because this right here, and I'm not going to say any of that. Matter of fact, I'm going to hide it. What that's saying. The manufacturer of that, again, this can't be a coincidence. It's one of the companies I was warned about. And I was warning about going to be qualified. A qualified snake bite, if you can read between those lines. And me not having to say trigger words. For this be happening worldwide. And you know how they're going to get people to take it? Give you money. Give you money digitally. Free money. But I'm telling you that, that check ain't worth the, the bank it's written on. There's no gold. It's a false gold. It's a false spirit. So, um, I was going to put on my notes. I'm going to put it right up here. Can you see that? Three, uh, three letters, then four letters. Yeah, they removed my video on that and cut me up pretty good on that one. So I must have been on to something, right? Part two up next. Uh, when God times it. Amen. That's where I'm at right now. And I'm not led to go any further. Any information on this can be sent to Minister Maxon at Comcast.net. And don't forget to check out Rumble and go subscribe over there. Because pretty much everything's going to Rumble. But if you want everything, it's Patreon. I do believe I will be able to get this up to YouTube. So God bless all of you. And remember, it's about Jesus and his kingdom, not us. Lest people come to you with vain traditions and fantasies and stuff of claiming something other than the gospel of Jesus Christ and the only way to God and deceive you. I present you the truth, lest that should happen.